In fact, his name was so complicated, I had to write it down, guys. But it's his first time on stage, it's his first time on stage, and we like to, we love first-timers here. It's really hard what we do sometimes, especially in first time. So y'all give him a real big round of applause. Give it up for Bob! Shit, Rusty Nayo, what's up, y'all? Oh, damn. I my shit straight here. So, uh, recently divorced. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Divorced people in the crowd. You know, being single, you know, being single again is pretty cool and all, but one thing I've noticed is that I got a lot of people coming up to me now saying things like, you know, Bob, man, you gotta go out and start dating a bunch. You gotta go out and start having sex with strangers and shit, you know, and that's all fun, you know, but you know what I enjoy most about being single again? I enjoy being able to sit in my own house and jerk off without feeling like a fucking 12 year old again worrying about my mom and me and shit. Like, fuck that, man. Like, no, seriously, my wife walked in on me one time. My ex-wife walked in on me one time, and um, you know, I was jerking off to some internet porn. I ain't gonna lie, you know, but um, she totally lost it on me, man, like flipped out. And don't get me wrong, I wasn't jerking off to anything too scandalous. Like, you know, while my wife walking in on me while I'm jerking off to like, triple penetration gangbang Asians volume 13 or some shit, you know. Like. But yeah, I mean, she totally fucking lost it on me, man. And I, and I said to her, I was like, baby, I love you. What's going on? You know, and she tried to pull that, you know, well, why, why, why do you need that if you got me? You shouldn't need that if you got me. You know, and all that bullshit. And I was like, bitch, I pay $69.95 a month for this high speed internet. I'm just trying to squeeze the most value I can out of it. You know, like, fuck that, man. But nah, that's fucked up. Like, no dude wants his dick to be on lockdown. You know, that shit, that shit drives us crazy, man. Like, <laughs> you know, it's bad enough that, like, being married for a dude is, you're basically signing up to, like, have pussy rationed out to you for the rest of your life. Like, like y'all are afraid that you, like, y'all afraid you're gonna run out of pussy if you give way too much. Like it's a fucking flu vaccine or some shit. This just in. Supplies of pussy are dangerously low this winter. They're not expected to come back until next spring. I ain't gonna tell me I can't even help myself, man. Fuck you. I remember the first time I jerked off after separating from my ex-wife. <laughs> like, I was in my apartment, you know, but like, it was kind of fucked up, right? Like, I was traumatized by her, you know? Like, I didn't have PTSD, I had fucking PTDD. Like, post-traumatic dip syndrome. <laughs> you know, like, I, you know how you do, man. I was, I was in my apartment, I was alone, you know. And I was all nervous and shit, but I was, you know, I was sitting there, alone in the dark, right there in front of the computer. All low. You know, like, couldn't even make myself put my pants all the way down. I could just hang around my hands and shit. I just sit there like this, I keep looking over my shoulder when the volume gets too high, like, like, oh, made me feel like I was trying to fucking hack the Pentagon and shit. <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna fuck around and Homeland Security was gonna raise the terror threat alert level to orange because I touched myself. <laughs> like, my dick felt like it just got released from Shawshank. <laughs> Didn't know what to do with all the new freedom and shit. <laughs> like, Brooks was here. <laughs> oh shit, man, that makes my balls hurt. <laughs> Speaking of balls, I gotta be honest with y'all. I hate having balls. Yeah, I hate having balls, man. Like, it's just too easy for them to get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the only way I would really and truly be happy having balls is that. If either one, I could take them shits out whenever I wanted to, and two, I could have some little midget bitch that lived in my pants that tickled them all the time. Like, I don't know. 
you know, but you gotta be careful what you ask for, you know, like, it might be fucked up to not have balls, you know, like, I had a couple of friends of mine back in the past that, you know, for one reason or another have had one or both of their balls removed, you know, and it fucked them up a little bit. I can understand that, you know, that shit fucks with your manhood, right? Now, I think what fucked them up the most, though, was what was left over after the balls were removed. <laughs> Like, I can understand that shit too. Like, no one wanna be undressing in front of a hot lady with some shit that looks like a fucked up pork rind hanging from your dick. <laughs> shit looks like Droopy trying to do a pull up. <laughs> Spread your legs, it looks like a fucked up turkey neck. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I ever have to get my balls removed, for whatever reason, I'm having the surgeon install a draw a string <laughs> so I can keep shit in my sack. <laughs> like, wouldn't that be the shit, right? I have some old fucked up wrinkled ass possum pouch in my pants <laughs> with the midget bitch. <laughs> like, I call it my glad bag. <laughs> That'd be the shit for weed smokers, right? Right? <laughs> Right? I gotta be careful with that though, man. I fuck around and get high and forget about shit I left in my glad bag. <laughs> I can see it now, I get pulled over by the cops. Like, get searched and shit. Like, cops can't find shit. Like, barking ass, big German shepherd can't find shit. So then they gotta strip search my ass. And I fuck their evidence room up with what they find in my glad bag. <laughs> they probably pull out like four blunts. A Trapper Keeper, a fucking can of Vienna sausages, some Transformers, a Justin Bieber CD, and my fucking divorce papers. <laughs> and that cop would look at me and be like, How'd you manage to fit all that in there, son? And I just tell that cop, it was a cinch. 